Hey, what up, guys? Yana the Game Changer here. And today, I actually had a request to talk a little bit about my jetpack, um, since you guys could kind of see it in a few different videos. So I'm just going to kind of go over what perks you have to do, what level you have to have, and is it worth it in the end, because it kind of is a, a pretty big <clears throat> investment into all of your skills and time to be able to get this. So let's go ahead and just get into it. So, if we're going to go ahead and go into the perk chart, <clears throat> if you go down, the armor you have to have rank 4, which rank 4 of it requires level 39 and at least 3 strength, and you're also going to have to have level 4 on science. So that requires level 41, as well as intelligence of 6. So, this means overall, you guys are going to have to be at level 41, which is can in itself can take a long time to get to, and you have to invest all of those points into those two trees. Now, this science one is, in my opinion, completely worth it, just because you have all the laser weapons and all the defense upgrades you can do to your settlements, just with having this perk. Um, and so, the science rank 4 is completely worth it, in my opinion. Um, the one that you're just going to kind of have to see if is worth it to you is the rank 4 of armor. If you're going to want to get play survival mode, I definitely recommend that you do the armors, um, just because you're going to need that rank 4 to upgrade your uh, power armors all the way, which again, if you're playing survival mode, it's kind of necessary, just because all that damage you're taking, you need the power armor. So once you have both of those at rank 4, it's super, super simple. All you're going to do is come over to the crafting station, get out of your armor, craft, and then what you're going to do is go to your chest piece, go in there, and then on this very bottom one for our mods, you're going to click on that, and then jetpack is all the way at the bottom. And it requires 7 adhesive, 10 aluminum, 9 asbestos, and 12 nuclear materials. And again, as you can see right next to it, you need science level 4 and armor level 4. So that's everything you need to be able to do and how to do it. And now, do I think it's worth it? This jetpack is very, very convenient. When you're trying to get across um, certain distances, anything like that, I completely 100% think it's worth it, just because it is just so convenient to have. I love that jetpack on there. Let me show it to you guys in action real quick. Let me hop on into my armor. Alright, so let's come on out here. And let's take a look at this. Give me one second, guys. Hey. Alright, so what we're going to do is if you... In order to be able to do it, your jetpack uses your action points. So if you've been running a lot and your action meter is all the way down at the very bottom, you're not going to be able to use it because it does use your, your AP. Now what you're going to do is that when you press Y or whatever button you guys used to press on your respective consoles, you jump. Now whatever bun button you use to press jump on, you just double press it and the second time you push it, you hold it down. And then you're flying. Look at that. And then when you fall, you just... Boom! <laughs> I don't know, I love this thing, I think it's completely worth it, but now that you guys know all the requirements to be able to do it, it's going to be kind of up to you guys to see if, if you think it's worth investing all of the time and effort to be able to basically just fly around for a little bit, and I don't know, like I said, in my opinion, I think it's completely worth it. Now one thing that I am going to recommend you guys do, if you do the jetpack, is since it does use your action points, um, on your power armor, there's a mod you can do to the legs, let me show you real quick, that will use less action points when you're running, which really helps because you want to save your action points for your jetpack. So if you go to the legs and you use the optimized servos, what these do is it reduces the action points, the cost for sprinting. So if you put that mod on both your legs, it's really going to save you a lot of those APs when you are running. That way you still have some left over for when you do use the jetpack, if you do need to use it. Alright guys, that's kind of my take on the jetpack. Is it worth it? Definitely, I think so. If you guys have any more questions about how to get it, or if anything didn't make sense to you, go ahead and drop it down in the comments down below. 
and I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Once more, this is Yoni the Game Changer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate the continued support. I'll see you guys next time.